these guys for coming. Thank you. How y'all doing today? Doing great. We're just going to go over a few things that, uh, that has passed this past late season. First thing, till season, September 13th through the 28th, around the corner. Just remember, it's six steel per person, per individual. Um, youth hunts, this has changed. Now they're allowing resident, honorably discharged veterans to participate in that hunt. Okay, so if you've been honorably discharged from the military, you're allowed to hunt during the youth hunts. It's not just for the kids anymore. But you have to have a copy of DD-214, something, you know, proving that you were honorably discharged. And it's going to be only honorably discharged veterans that are going to be allowed to do that. <clears throat> only private lands that doesn't go for uh, WMA right. youth hunting. Use my MCC. Yeah, it's just going to be on your private property. Your <laughs> public lands like Sherman, Dissaway, uh, West, uh, West Bay. West Bay. Thank you. <laughs> you can't you can't go and participate in those hunts just for private property. Years ago, you couldn't use suppressors to go and hunt deer hunting, squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting. Now they, they passed the bill this year to where now you can put a suppressor on your firearm and go hunt your, your game of your choice. Um, except migratory game birds, of course. Well, one thing to keep in mind with a suppressor, you have to have documentation from the ATF to have a suppressor. Yeah. And you can't just go to the store and buy one. You can't just order one off the internet. You can order yeah. one off the internet, <laughs> but you'll get the bond. They might not like it, yeah. You have to have uh, documentation from the ATF Stating that you can legally have a suppressor in your possession. How do you how do you get that? Contact the ATF. What just what makes it other than just I, I don't money? Know. What makes you qualify? That's what I'm saying. Uh, There's right. going to be an application. You have to contact the ATF. Oh, so They're going to give you an know. application. You're going to fill out. They're going to do a background check on your whole nine yards. It, it, it's going to be a loose background check. It's pretty much what it boils down to. But a $300 fee or something like that. So More than likely. Yeah, one time fee. Yeah. And, and a good suppressor is going to run you anywhere between $1,200 to $1,500. Right. So you're going to have some so money invested in the car. You want to be committed. <laughs> yeah. And we, we kind of, you know, a few of those agents have sat down and thought about it. We think it's something to do with hog hunting. The hog hunters started doing it. So now they kind of push in with this deer hunt with it and stuff like that. Us as agents, we really don't care for it. But, you know. It's something that times are changing. They still don't allow different things like this to uh, take place during hunting season. So, uh, if there are any questions, that's pretty much the just. Well, we're talking about doves. We got white wing, Eurasian collared doves, morning doves. What's the regs this year on the board? What's any limit? What's not any limit? That sort of stuff. And did it change since last year? No, it's the same way. It's okay. 12. So, the, the, the possession of the limit is 12 or 15. And do you count the white wings and the Eurasian in your as, as long as you don't pluck them, leave the head and the wings. They don't count? Right. They don't if count. you fully pluck it, it's going to count just like a regular, you know, morning dove. All right. All right. So, so as long as you don't pluck, you know, that way when the agent comes by, because if you plug the whole thing, we can't tell what it was. Don't touch alligators. <clears throat> don't touch alligators. Yeah, really. yeah. yeah. Oh, another thing. Small animals. We, we've been seeing this more and more the last couple of years. Hunt season around the corner, everybody goes out to camp, they find a phone. They don't see the mama, they bring it home. Leave that thing where you found it, don't mess with it. Nine times out of ten, and most of y'all hunters, the phone will lay down, the mama will try to, you know, have the predator, you know, follow them to keep them away from her or the, the, little, the little phone. People think that when they see it, it's abandoned or the mama got shot, so they want to bring it home. Leave that where you found it, it, it will survive. Nine times out of ten. Um, squirrels, same way, just leave it. But we've been having a lot of people call it. I found a baby black bear, I found a cub, I found this, I found that. We gotta go get all this stuff. And we gotta <laughs> start trying to find rehabilitators and if you know you just leave it where it's at, nine times out of ten it's gonna make it. We hear some stuff from white people, any excuse you can think of, they come up with it. Mainly with hunting the excuse that we run in that I run into when people break wildlife game laws, it's because they ain't been killing. Yeah. You duck hunters make it up. We ain't had no ducks all year, so I killed 37 this morning. <laughs> 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 to make up for all the mother hunters, like, dude, that's obviously not how it works. Yeah. Like, opportunity. I ain't seen no deer all year, that's why I shot three today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool deal, buddy. Little guy went up north. Little guy up north shot a doe and a yearling. 
I found out about it about a week later, hunted them down, finally found them. And uh, I, I didn't recover the deer. The deer was gone. I mean, he gave the deer to him and him and him and him. I'm like, all right, cool. But you still get the ticket and you still got to pay restitution on that yeah. deer, even though I didn't recover it. And just on a dole now, a restitution used to be $500, whether it was a dole or a buck. They changed that last year. Uh, just a dole is $1,600. Oh. A quality antler book, depending on what he scores, you're looking at anywhere from two thousand to five, six thousand dollars just for the deer. That's not even counting the violations. It's crazy. <laughs> you have to make it steep to. Yeah, well, you have to try to deter. Yeah. <laughs>